Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, President Muhammad Buhari has urged Western allies to designate the indigenous people of Biafra as a terrorist organization. The Nigerian president made the call during an interview with Bloomberg on Tuesday. Buhari also accused IPOP of vandalizing oil pipelines and other infrastructure in the country. He lamented that criminality was hindering oil production, adding that the country had stepped up its efforts in combating oil theft and vandalism. Reacting to this, IPOP media and publicity secretary Ima Powerful dismissed the president's allegation that the group was vandalizing pipelines, describing the claim as laughable. At number two, Mary Dauda and Hawa Joseph, the two recently rescued girls who were among the abducted students from the government girls' secondary school, Chibok, in Bonu State in 2014, have revealed that more than 20 missing girls are still in Gazua camp in Sambisa Forest, eight years after being kidnapped by Boko Haram insurgents. The two girls disclosed this while interacting with newsmen on Tuesday in Meduguri at a news conference held at the Command and Control Center, My Malari Catonment. Mary Dauda, who recounted her experience in the hands of the insurgents, said she could still vividly recall her first marriage eight years ago after she was abducted at the age of 18 years. She said she walked through the deadly forest for many days before she was rescued. At number three, the All Progressives Congress has constituted an 86-member National Campaign Council for the July 16th Oshun State Governorship election. This was contained in a statement issued by the National Chairman of the APC, Abdullahi Adamu, and Secretary Iola Omishore on Tuesday in Abuja. The council is headed by Lagos State Governor Babajide Songwolu and Kanu State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje. According to the statement, the council will be officially inaugurated by the national chairman on Thursday. The Oshun State Governorship election will be held on Saturday, July 16th, with Governor Boyega Oyetola as the APC candidate. At number four, President Muhammad Buhari has given reasons for not sacking the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile, over his interest in politics. Speaking during an interview with Bloomberg on Tuesday, Buhari said the governing board of the CBN has the power to determine if the governor erred or not. Recall that Emefile was widely criticized some weeks ago after a group purchased the 100 millionaire presidential expression of interest and nomination form of the ruling of Progressive Congress for him. In the interview, Buhari said Emefile faced allegations of partisanship because of his unorthodox approach to the economy. He said, ultimately, it will be for the CBN's board of directors to determine whether a CBN governor's actions have fallen foul of the laws in place to ensure he can most effectively carry out his duties. Lastly, at number five, field scarcity worsened in Lagos State, the Federal Capital Territory and other parts of the country on Tuesday, resulting in motorists spending long hours at filling stations. Oil marketers are insisting on the federal government approving an increase in the pump price for fuel in order to lessen the queues across the country. Although some marketers had already raised the price of fuel in their outlets, with some selling as high as 300 naira per litre, they admitted that the move had not been approved by the government and that dealers could be sanctioned for selling above the regulated rate. That's all for now. Please do well to get your permanent voter's card as the 2023 general elections is almost here. See you next time on What's Happening.